Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. What a beautiful morning. Just a light little fog, just uh, ready to lift up here this morning. What a beautiful day to be fishing for walleye and maybe some bass. So I'm here with the Boatless Angler and we are running the Sting Nose Jig and Spoon. And I went with the gold today because of the conditions right now. The sun's supposed to come out when it does. I'll probably switch to silver. And uh, what I'm doing today, folks, you know, you subscribers, the viewers, you're always the first to find out about Thundermist new products. Today, folks, I am running the new Thundermist eye drops. Uh, I'm tipping, I am tipping my sting nose with the new eye drop. And what it is, it's a fish eye a plastic, soft plastic fish eye, uh, scented, and uh, I'm running the prototype today. But by the time you see this video, the real eye drops will be available. And as you know, I run the sting nose a lot of times as is without tipping it. But I do tip it as well, and I like to tip it when the fish are a little lethargic or after a front when you need a little bit more enticing or if you want to add a little bit of scent. And you know, I've, I've tipped my uh, sting nose with a little piece of worm, I've tipped it with a little piece of minnow, and now I'm tipping it with the scented eye drop. Okay, Antonio's got the front of the boat, I've got the back, we're in position, we got a beautiful morning, it's relatively calm right now, and we're hoping that these fish are aggressive and that they're on. We're gonna be jigging these sting nose back to us. There's a very, very, very slight drift. So we're gonna be casting and bouncing the sting nose off the bottom, back towards the boat, letting it flutter down and trigger, uh, trigger a bite. So that's gonna be the technique today. So glad you can join us, folks. So stay tuned. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's fighting like a smallie. It's fighting like a bass, and he's oh, it's a it's a nice bass. Did you see that jump, Antonio? I didn't know. Oh, good it's a good bass. Uh, sure, you want to net him for me? He just hammered that bait, just as it was fluttering down. Wow, <laughs> look at that. See, that's the other thing when you tip your jigging spoons. The other thing it does is it changes the fall ever so slightly. Oh boy, that's a chunk. It changes the fall ever, ever so slightly and it slows it down just a bit. So if the fish are a little bit lethargic, it's a good thing to do. If they're aggressive, they'll hammer it just as is. This is a good fish. Oh, this is a five pounder. Okay, maybe not. No. Four? Yeah. Three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> He's getting smaller the more we look at him. Good but, one. Eh? Hey? Isn't that fish. a nice fish? Okay, first fish of the day. And I really don't want to tell you, but I guess I should tell you. I missed two others already. Okay, how about a quick photo for Facebook and Instagram? Sure. Here we go. And we're going to release this fish. Hey? Let's see if I can grab a quick photo right now. There you go. Perfect, thank you. Okay, nice little hook set just on the side of the mouth. First fish of the day, great start right there. Okay, boy did he ever, he really, I mean really hit it hard. He hit it really hard. Where there's one, there's usually more. I'm running 10 pound braid with a 10 pound floral leader today. And I like to use the braid when I'm jigging for that direct hook set, but I also like that fluorocarbon leader. You want as less visibility as possible when you're fishing, when you're jigging. So I've got a good long leader on there too, probably about a 12 foot leader. Okay, well that was a great start. See if I can hook into another one or maybe Antonio at the front of the boat there. We'll see, well, see what the next few minutes brings here. <laughs> That's another solid hit. Oh boy. So I'm using the three quarter ounce sting nose. You've seen me use the heavier. But I went with three quarter because we're fishing like 20 to 25 feet of water. This is a solid fish. That's why I went with the three quarter ounce, but I was actually debating 
thinking of maybe going to the one ounce only because the hook size is bigger. But uh, the three quarter ounce is working, so why switch up, right? <laughs> Antonio's laughing at me back there. Yeah, it's a good fish, whatever it is. He's he's fighting a he's fighting like a bass, but he he hasn't uh, he hasn't broke the surface. But he's he's fighting like a bass. I mean, not that walleye don't fight this strong, but he's fighting like a like a nice big smallie. Using my six foot medium action rod. I like the shorter rods for jigging, a little bit more control. I like it. Okay. Uh, well, he's he's dogging it down there, but yeah, sure. You want to land him? I'll. I'd be happy if you did. Oh, that's a good fish. It's a strong fish. <laughs> this, this is what fishing's all about, right here. I love these kind of mornings. The fog is lifted. The weather's clearing. Oh, that's a nice smallie. Bass? Oh, it's a that's a big one. Oh yeah. That that is a big smallie. Bigger than the last one. Good. Might need another photo. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I interrupt your fishing time. Oh yeah. That is a nice bass. Oh yes. Okay. Good one. Look at that. That one is that's five pounder. Look how thick he is. That's a good one, yeah. Look how thick. Yeah, I definitely want a photo of this fish. He's a solid five. That last one looked like five, but this one is five. <laughs> Here, quick photo, and we're gonna get him right back in. Look at that coloration, nice wide fish. Beautiful. And just hooked. You know, just in the side of the mouth, right where he should be. Okay, there we go. That's a nice small leap right there. Gonna get him right back in. And usually my eye drops last the whole day, but I lost it on that one. Because usually once they're on there, they're on there pretty good. But that's okay, there's more eye drops where that came from. They're just prototypes, but we got a few of them. Where are they, in the front there? Yeah. Okay, let me grab one. I gotta get right back out there again. This is exciting. Okay, I'm actually, Antonio's got the other bigger, bigger one on. I got a smaller one here, another a smaller eye drop. They come in different sizes, so depending on the size of the lure you're tipping, you know, and the fish that you're going after. But I got a smaller one on there. We'll see if that one does. The other one was a little bit bigger. That's okay, we'll see if this one does the trick. Okay, 23 feet of water right now. Oh, tighten up on the drag after that last fish. Very important. Oh, he's got to check that drag. <laughs> you wanted to come up, eh? I think it's a bass, yeah. yeah. Small. I'm using silver. Oh, you put the silver on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Figured I'd do something different than you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let me grab the net. Okay, I just took my line out. Oh, yeah. It's giving you a good fight, eh? That's a nice Not smallie. Not huge. No, a nice one, though. Okay. Dogging it. Oh, yeah, I see you went with the silver. Okay. Little guy. Nice bass, though. Good two and a half, solid two and a half yeah. pounder. Okay. Yeah, not bad, right? Nice fish. There you go. Admire your fish, but I'm gonna pass my line. <laughs> Go for it. Unless you want a photo. No, no, that's okay. You sure? Yep. Nice fish. That one hit a way out there. He hit a way out there just on my second jig. He just hammered it. And he's come right to the surf. Oh, that was a good fish. That was a nice smallie. Oh well, that was fun. You can't land them all. We're in 24 feet right now. I'm gonna let it go right back down again because maybe where there's one, there's more. I'm into one. You, you decided to join me yeah. and you set the hook. <laughs> that was pretty good. I think it's a bass. Oh yeah. 
fighting like a, a smallie, but you never know, right? He didn't come to the surface, though. He threatened. He threatened? Okay, then it's a bass. It's a bass. I just yeah. saw some brown. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I'll land them for you. I'll land them. Yep. He's got some size to it. Nice one. Yes, it is. What a day. What a day. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got some size. Look at him. Huh, that's a good fish. Still on the silver though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah. Good one. Oh, that's that's a five pounder. You want a picture? Uh okay. your call. That's, that's alright. That's a good fish. Look at how thick. That's a thick, chunky fish. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's solid. Football. Solid fish. Okay. Back in the boat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I needed that. I needed that. <laughs> what size you got on anyway? Curious. I got three quarter ounce. What do you got? I think I got three quarter. Three quarter. Well. Same yeah. thing. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> that was nothing. Oh boy, I think I got myself another bass. I think I got another small Lee Antonio. I could tell by the tail wagon. And now he's starting to come up. Sure signs of a bass right there. Okay, it looks like the bass bite is on today, big time. And that's okay. Oh, that's a good bite. These fish are super, super strong. You gonna land them, Antonio? Yeah. Yeah? Cutting into your fishing time. It's okay. But I will say this. Like Antonio said, he put the silver on. And that's fine. The silver is a great color. It's just gold reflects a little better under these conditions. And hence, you could tell that I'm getting more hits than you are. Right? So, but if the sun decides to peak out, it's gonna be all about silver. Okay. So this is a, I put the smaller. Ooh. I put a smaller eye drop on. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it still produced a hit, so there you go. Just can't bring them in. I'm just dogging it down there. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're solid, aren't they? Look Little at this guy. He's. Give you a good fight, though. He's about two and a half pounds. Yeah, did he ever? Yeah. But he just. He just inhaled just hammered that bait right on the fall it's just on the inside of the mouth here just a very easy little release oh a little bit of a little bit of blood there i think no worse for wear okay and away he goes boy oh boy i'm telling you folks i'm loving this day i'm liking the weather and the wind just picked up a bit. This fog was supposed to clear. It looks like the fog is actually rolling in now with this little bit of a wind that's picked up. But that's okay. It keeps it cool and comfortable out here. Okay, time to reset the dag. There we go. But you know what? Oh. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. We're going to have to bump us up and go get us out of this snag. But you know what, folks? If you... If you need to tip your jig and you need a little bit of scent, tipping's a great option. Or if you just love to tip your baits as a general rule, tip it, you're going to love these new eye drops. And I want to get my sting nose back and my eye drops. So we're going to bump up and get myself out of that snag. But you know what, folks? Wherever you're tuning in from today, I want to thank you ever so much for joining us on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing what happens when you're when you stop paying attention to what you're doing all right let's get us out of there